um, using the natural uh, surroundings, incorporating that in buildings. So maybe you didn't speak much about the environmental um, source of energy, how they're going to be using gas, using solar. How do you propose using um, what's really here or yes. something completely new? So, uh, because the building is so well insulated, it's actually you don't almost don't need the heating. I mean, you probably need the heating, but you only need a very small boiler. <coughs> uh, we worked with a uh, uh, service engineer on this scheme, which actually you met already. You, Duffin, he was with. Oh, for the same day. Oh, well. He saw it, whatever. I know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that happens quite often, actually. <laughs> These engineers, the sub consultants, they are just like, you know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But, mercenaries, know, mercenaries. but he's great. He's uh, I worked with him on the Churchill College building or, or the previous uh, other projects, and uh, he's very environmentally uh, kind of conscious engineer uh, in this country, I'll say. Um, but uh, yeah, so his assessment was basically this: uh, U value is so good that you need only very little amount of heat source. So the, we have allowed for a little boiler room on the ground floor in the kind of one of the cupboard. Uh, it's a sort of gas, the gas boiler. <laughs> but I know that you guys are in interested in hooking up Connected. this, this uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, system, which can be also attached to that. So this is more like a kind of a, uh, allowing for the future development, but uh, essentially is the same line as your housing strategy that at the moment you Go with the, the gas boiler, but you can upgrade to the more sustainable. So there'll be, yeah. there'll be um, room for that in the future if, 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 if we should so need it. Or yes. Yeah. Cool. yeah. Yes. Um, in regards to the wall build up, because uh, in your presentation you say in your proposal that it's 1.6 meters wide uh, mm -hmm. straw bales, jumbo yeah. straw bales, and it's creating a bit of a uh, like the communal space on the ground floor is 54 square meters mm. and it's about what we have here mm. and, and we were thinking in more like i think it's 50 square meters we're here no. um so no. we were uh, i think it's much bigger than this yeah, yeah. but anyway yeah we're to 12 by 4. Do you mean the whole area? You mean this? No, this container. Oh, this container. It's four by by ten. Okay, it's four four square meters. Okay. <laughs> but still, we were thinking like more of the amount of seventy square meters. Yeah. Uh, that would be able to be a dividable space mm -hmm. and have um, a bigger open space when we need it. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering, like I'm a structural engineer, I was wondering that if we if we made the steel structure and yep. we make when we use uh, wa uh, like 400 mm. mil of bales, mm. then we could have a bigger uh, footprint. Yes. So it's something that we could uh, yes, negotiate. Yeah. On yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. I mean, this is a idea. I mean, mm. concept mm. Uh, <laughs> proposal. Uh, so we really went for it. You know, 1.6 meters deep is basically stipulated from the height of the wall. It's a sort of a rule of thumb is the 1 to 10 ratio. Mm -hmm. So the, the height of the t 10 to the 1 uh, is the thickness of the wall. So that's how we made it. That's the sort of masonry construction, i.e. just stuck in the bale on top. Yeah, yeah, load bearing. Load bearing, yeah, yeah, exactly. So if we change to the frame, which potentially could be more efficient, could be prefabricated, so, you know, so, yeah. Make and we it use the self-built element, but with, uh, with yes, smaller yeah, uh, yeah. wall build-up. Yeah, we well. could make a mm. uh, uh, kind of a yeah. smaller. So, so literally, so the it's not really, uh, uh, stipulated by uh, the kind of a structure requirement mm. and such, mm. but uh, it's more to do with the, I guess, try make the building compact and efficient as possible. So that was more like, uh, I suppose, question back to you. Do you really need this much space? Mm. So that was the yeah. kind of yeah. But you know, that building can kind of contract and shrink, I guess. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, initially we were designing 18 uh, meter diameter. diameter but okay. we calculated the cost with Greece, the cost consultants, and then we realized that it's a bit too big. Mm -hmm. uh, so that was the kind of point that we shrank up to. Do. And I have one second question about the housing. Uh, because we. <coughs> 
we value the different uh, pockets of public <coughs> space that we have uh, and like we use during the summertime or spring depending on uh, the temperature and the light. So uh, occupying the ground floor of that space is, uh, as you said, controversial. Mm. Uh, and it's next to my house. But I was wondering if we could uh, ele lift all this and elevate it like 1.5 uh, mm. floors, mm. one and a half floors, and we have a sheltered space, mm -hmm. and we can keep the ground floor, mm -hmm. and we can have our activities, and we meet, and it's still sheltered. Mm -hmm. Is it something that we could do? Uh, yes, I think so, yeah. I mean... We would have to go higher. <coughs> it would be higher. Mm. I think uh, we provided the wheelchair accessible room and wheelchair accessible kitchen. And basically, ground yeah. floor was designed yeah. for the wheelchair accessible room. If we put room. a lift. Yes, the lift is the <laughs> answer. the solution to everything. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, the really just the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> is, is, this, is this space the same one that we have, like, the bike workshop? And yeah, 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 yeah. So that would be removed for... But yeah, yeah, it's that yeah. whole okay. corner. Mm. Yeah. 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 Uh, yes, no, Piroti is uh, potentially the solution to that, uh, as long as we can we figure out how we deal with the like access the issue, accessibility yeah. issue, being a column. Kiroki yeah. means, yeah. yeah, kind of elevated, so you yeah. have an open yeah. space, yeah. Uh, columns. columns, yeah, yeah. and then, then you have a ground floor open, mm. and then you go up to the, to the room. So how, how high is this going to be, the ceiling over here, because like we do have a, a Issue there's always a very low ceiling, I think, for a communal area. Mm. Having it a high ceiling could kind of like give a different sensation for everyone. Mm -hmm. I was just wondering whether this is designed to be like this low or <coughs> lot higher. Or it's double. Uh, double so higher. that's the space. Uh, you so see the cut? Yeah, yeah cut, cut is there. <laughs> so the parcel is about the cut. this. Cut? Like very sensitive. <laughs> <very bad. Yeah. laughs> look, look, look. <laughs> so, so, so the so person is this high. Is that your cat? That is true. It's one in a cup. It's one in a cup. Yeah, it's one floor. How many? It's two floors. Two floors. Yeah, so this is a. How tall is that? Four point four. Five point. It's a 2.4 meters floor. 2.7 meter floor floor to floor. So that means 5.2. 5.2? No. 5.4. So it would take off some of the throw throw slabs. So it's it's about sort of five meter tall space. Mm. Okay. And, and um, definitely just because you know, I don't understand it much. So it is going to be bigger than what we have here, like that oh, yes. specific space. Yes. A lot yeah, bigger yeah. than. A lot bigger than this. Yeah. Okay. Bigger height. Um, like two times this height. Three. Yeah. Two and a half times this height. Good for handstands. For the <laughs> 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 you can take hands down there. You can do an aerial yeah. stuff. <laughs> <laughs> one, one or two more. Uh, have you got an uh, associate construction company that you work with on a regular basis, or someone that you've already worked before that you would like to engage with on this project? Uh, at the moment, it's uh, assumed we're going for competition <coughs> tender process. Uh, we have some we com yeah good builders we worked with before, but uh, we haven't really thought about who to work with. I suppose uh, if you go for straw bale construction, I think it would be good to have an uh, expert uh, input. Although structure engineer, we again yeah we we worked on this competition with structure engineer Price and Myers. Uh, they have done few straw bale construction, but I also uh, yeah, mentioned about Barbara. Is yeah, yeah, lady, yeah. So Barbara Jones, who is the um, she has straw works, she she could be potentially our contractor as well, okay. because she specialises. She yeah. could go for straw bale and timber. She's she's on it. Mm. So yeah, we will explore the kind of the, the, all those options and routes, and then we decide, you know, with you guys, what's the most uh, appropriate person to to, to work with. Got time for one more if anyone's got any questions. <coughs> so is the self build part uh, also negotiable how much we can contribute or is there like a hard limit that you know like when it comes to structure I presume we can't do that much? 
uh, as a community because uh, com uh, you know the construction prices went up like 25 percent this year so i'm just wondering like mm. how much some yeah. could actually contribute. so the qs estimated it uh quantity survey yeah? um the more you incorporate self build it will become cheaper so this is the, I guess, you know, how far you can yeah. push it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I wouldn't hesitate to do structure as well. I mean, straw bale is essentially a sort of DIY thing. So, mm -hmm. um, although it's quite tall, so you need to have some mm -hmm. supervision. Mm -hmm. but, uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, quick question. Do you think that it will block the, like, the view of the mural a little bit, the original? Ah, good question you mentioned. Uh, another reason why we went for circle mm -hmm. is uh, you sort of you have this uh, sort of a rounded mm -hmm. corner that you, as you move, you reveal the view, uh, and because the, the circular form, uh, you have a much wider uh, opening to see the. the yeah, so you can block in that. So that, for example. Uh -huh. So instead of a having the square rectangular building, you can actually, it's, it's much more visible. Nice. That, that was the reason why we went for the side. Is there an opposite Thank mural you. as well? And Sorry? Yeah. Opposite mural there in your picture. Well, that is just a suggestion. Uh, so <laughs> we deliberately made this wall quite blank. Mm. Uh, that is a sort of a canvas that potentially <coughs> put another mural or another maybe identity to work I mean with that. the mural. I mean, this might be controversial too, you know, maybe this is kind of competing against it, but uh, I guess what we mm. want to say is that this building hopefully will represent the some form. It was kind of new, I suppose, identity. This is a symbol of, symbol of the, you know, the trees on the top and, and also the visibility to the, to the surrounding. Um, so it's quite a visible building. So, so you will be able to see both murals from the outside yes. that will be in an angle. Yeah, this is the view taken from the street outside. Actually, this is the, the bus stop there. Mm -hmm. that you can actually see both of them. Cool. Mm. I think I might be